Merch restock! All of the new stuff that I released in the last video has been restocked. A lot of it sold out really fast last time, so thank you guys for all the support. Also, due to popular demand, we took the Lightning Greg design and put it on a t-shirt, so you can get it on a t-shirt now. So if you want to grab that or anything else, head on over to dannygonzalez.store. What's up, Greg, and welcome back to another episode of Dinky Gunky. The internet's most notorious ripoff of Danny Gonzalez. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things in the world, poorly animated movie ripoffs. This is going to be a review and a commentary on The Little Panda Fighter, which if you can't tell by the title and the cover is a ripoff of Kung Fu Panda. It was produced by the same masterminds that made Ratatouille and What's Up, which I have also reviewed. This movie came out a year after Ratatouille and it is like 10 years worse than Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> the animation is horrifying. It's really not fun to look at. Just to give you a little frame of reference, Ratatouille has a 1.5 star rating on IMDb, and this movie has a 1.3 star rating on IMDb. So, you already know this shit's about to be worse. Okay, we open on somewhat of a barren landscape on what appears to be a teeny tiny little planet, because you can see the curve of the Earth from like 20 feet off the ground. And on this barren wasteland sits one small little bar, the Bear Bar Box, which is where most of the movie takes place. And you know since it's an animated ripoff, they have to start the movie by assaulting your eyes with some of the worst animation you've ever seen. It's almost like for some reason they intentionally picked two of the hardest things to animate, like pursing your lips and whistling, and also like shaking your hips and grooving. I guess they wanted to show you right off the bat, hey, this isn't gonna be a good movie. Whatever poor mom bought this for their kid thinking it was Kung Fu Panda, they wanted to let her know right away, this is not what you thought it was gonna be, and you are in for a weird night. Stop the daydreaming, Pancata. That floor ain't gonna mop itself, you know. So this is Pancata, he's the main character of the movie. He is the little panda fighter, but He's not a fighter yet. Oh no, no, no. He works at this bar, the Bear Bar Box, where, as the name implies, bears come to watch other big buff bears box and be bros, binge booze. Bang babes, I don't know. His boss is this polar bear, Polaris, who is absolutely ripped. I guess just his chest is. He just has really defined chest muscles. The rest of him is just kind of like an amorphous white blob, but he's got like banging pegs. And pretty much everything you need to know about Pancata is summed up in this 13 second clip at the beginning of the movie. Fight night, fight night, big deal. Who cares about some dumb old fight night? <laughs> 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 So you pretty much get Pancata now, right? You pretty much know all about him, his struggles, his dreams. Okay, good, because that's all the exposition you're gonna get. So Pancata's conflict in this movie is basically that like everyone around him only cares about boxing. He works at this bar where bears box, so obviously they care about boxing, but he wants to be a dancer. I don't know why he's wearing a blonde <laughs> wig in his like dream sequence, because as the movie progresses and we actually see him dance, he's never wearing that. I still don't know where that comes from. I don't know what the blonde wig signifies to him, but he wants to dance. The poor bear just wants to dance. You better watch yourself, Pancata. If the boss catches you goofing off again, you'll be daydreaming on the unemployment line. As it stands right now, the Bear Bar Box has a big problem. Every couple days they have a boxing match, but the same bear has been winning these boxing matches for like two years. <laughs> He's like the reigning champion, so he fights in every single fight until he loses, but he just has never lost. So the Russian's been losing a lot of business because people are just tired of watching the same guy win over and over. I don't believe it. He's killing me, this guy. He wins every time. That's why no one comes to the fights no more. It's a joke. Freak Teddy is putting me out of business, I tell you. Yeah, sure. Just like when you were fighting Polaris. No one could beat you either. You were champ for three years until you were tired. Why does that bear have snot dripping out of his nose? Dude, that's so gross. What the hell? This bear has snot coming out of his nose in every scene. It's not just this scene. This is like the defining characteristic of this bear. I don't know why either. Is that like a thing? Is that like a bear thing? I don't think so. Do bears have notoriously runny noses? It's like, did they run out of distinguishing characteristics for bears? Like they made a panda bear and a polar bear and a girl bear and they were like, shit, that's all the types of bears I know. How are we gonna distinguish all the rest of the characters? We have like seven more characters we have to make in this movie and we only know two types of bears. 
and then another gender to go along with it. Can I get you anything, huh? Mr. Grizzlepuss? A Kleenex, perhaps? No thanks there, honey bun. I gotta settle up my bets here. No, take oh, the Kleenex, man. please. No thanks, honey bun. I'm cool with snot just dripping out of my nose in every scene that I'm in. It's not gross to me, because I can't even see it. Mr. Polaris isn't exactly in the best of moods right now, and I was hoping I could ask to leave early. After all, it is pretty slow in here right now. Leave early? Why would you need to? It's not like you ever have a date. Who'd go out with you? <laughs> oh my god, mean bear. Mean girl bear. He didn't even say he was going on a date. She just made that up and then made fun of him for it. Man, it'd be really nice to get work off tonight. Why, because you have a date? Uh, no, I just have been working really hard lately. It'd be nice to have the day off. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you're telling me someone wants to go on a date with you? No. Oh, this is rich. Oh, can you- oh, could you invite me? I'm gonna wanna see this. I mean, you are kinda right, nobody does wanna go on a date with me, that's why I'm not going on a date. Also, what's going on with her hair? She's got, like, ghost hair? She's got, like, two sets of hair on top of each other, and one is, like, frozen solid and doesn't move, and then one is, like, really flowy and transparent. It's the ghost of her old hair. She got a haircut and it's still haunting her. Pardon me, Mr. Polaris. Yeah, Pent got it, come on in. Why is this taking so long? Sure, Thunders might have been popular when he started out, but we're talking two years! The public is fickle, kid! Who wants to go to a boxing match when the same goopy guy keeps winning? Well, the same goopy guy. This goopy guy? Okay, so this is like the problem that they're trying to solve the entire movie. They're like, people aren't coming to the restaurant anymore because the same bear keeps winning. He's fighting every time and he knocks the other person out in like a few seconds. So it's not interesting ever. What I don't understand is why does that bear have to fight? They never explain that. Sure, he's the reigning champion. Why can't they just change it so that like not the reigning champion fights every time? Why can't they just be like, okay, this guy's won too many times. So maybe let's fight some new bears to box but instead it seems like they've just like spent the past two years doing nothing just letting this bear beat the shit out of every bear that steps in the ring with him geez maybe this bear should spend less time doing only peck exercises and more time learning how to run a business well then why don't you jump in the ring and challenge him mr polaris no can do when i inherited this club i retired from the ring oh gee what a cry and shame Ugh. Why do they keep doing that? They've done that twice now where like the panda does like a shy little caress of the table But since he's got like panda claws, they had to add in like a nail on a chalkboard sound to it. Oh gee, what a cry and shame Oh gee, what a shame Mr. Polaris. Oh golly. Oh man. Hey, I was wondering could a shy little bear like me get the night off? I got shit to do. Oh, stop! This movie is full of really poorly paced scenes that do a really bad job of conveying what's supposed to be going on in them. Like this one for example where Pancata shows up to his dance lesson. I'm gonna play this scene in its entirety unedited so that you can get a sense for how weird it is. Right away, Master Jin. I swear I won't be late again, I promise. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... What? So Pankata shows up to his dance lesson. His instructor tells him to go get changed. Pankata enters the dance studio from a dark abyss and says, <sighs> His sensei says, Hmm. And starts the music. Pankata starts stomping and giggling. <laughs> his sensei says, <laughs> ah. And then hard cut to them sitting across from each other and Pankata's mm -hmm. moaning. You, you get what's going on here. Dude, what is this dark void that he's coming from? Did they just forget to add a room back there? It's impossibly dark in there. Also, the door opening sound effect that they use sounds exactly like the sound when someone would log out in AOL Instant Messenger. Does anybody remember that sound? Pankata is logging out, dude. Pankata has logged out of the abyss. There's this girl. We work together down at the club, see? Oh no, Pankata, don't tell me you're in love with a mean bear girl. But she doesn't even know I exist. No, she does, dude. She just thinks you're a loser. To that girl, I'm just a loser. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. Hmm, I see. Hmm? To make a woman hmm? notice you, you must show her you value yeah. loyalty. Dude, why was Pankata reacting like that? That was really distracting. He was like responding to the dance instructor while he was still talking. You must show her you value yeah. loyalty. The next day, Polaris comes up with a plan to get business back to the restaurant. You see, for some reason, Polaris isn't allowed to box. I guess he used to be a boxer, but when he bought the bar, he had to sign some contract that said that he will never step in the ring. So he can't get in the ring and beat up the guy that has been winning, even though he says that he could. Sure, I could knock that overgrown furball out in two rounds flat. So his big idea is to put on a costume and then get in the ring and beat the shit out of the bear. Yeah, I present to you the Great Bear of Mystery. 
Yeah, his costume is just like a leather jumpsuit. There's like nothing that is covering up his identity at all. It's just from the neck down. So everyone can see his face clear as day. I mean, I guess it is kind of covering up his signature pec muscle. So maybe people won't be able to recognize him. Here, kid, give these a good washing. I want him nice and fresh for the fight. I'll stay here and plot the imminent demise of old Thunderbutt himself. That jerk. That jerk. Dude, that's so weird. Why is it like that? Yeah, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna kick his ass. Fuck him. <laughs> oh no, dude. Did they make, they made thick bears? They made the girl bear thick? No, not sexy bears. She's got a thick waist. She's got boobs, dude. I think she might even be thicker than Carol from Ratatouille. Why did they? It's also even funnier to me that like, they didn't even try to make the panda bear look like humanoid at all. They made him just look like a rotund panda bear. He's just like a big round bear. He, he looks nothing like a person. But then for the only girl bear in the movie, they were like, this is what she has to look like. She gotta look like this, otherwise no one will know she's supposed to be a girl bear. Have you ever seen a bear that looks like this in your whole life? She's got like dainty little arms with her big paws and like a really slim waist and those thick hips. That is not a bear, dude. I don't know. Everybody else in this movie is a bear except this girl. I have to handle some personal business right now, privately, so I gotta go. Nothing personal. Sorry about that. And uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Hmm. I swear that bear gets more strange every day. Yeah, okay, dude. You're the bear with boobs. So, I never seen one of those before. He's like a regular looking panda bear. What are you? So Pankata is supposed to be washing Polaris's costume, but he gets distracted by the rhythm of the washing machine, which there is none, by the way. The sound effect that they use like doesn't have any rhythm to it. And then it just sort of like transitions into a completely different song with a like, that sounds totally different than the sound the washer was making. But anyway, he gets swept away by the music and he starts dancing and he forgets all about Polaris's costume. I feel like they accidentally made this movie about the two most difficult things to animate, dancing and fighting. In a way, I kind of have to give them props. It was truly ambitious of the four animators that worked on this movie to try to take on such a project. But I do regret to inform you that it did not work out. Ah, uh, one more sucker who thinks he's got what it takes to be Freak Teddy. Uh, dude, holy, sh holy cow, what? Am I gonna have to blur out this bear's butt? Look at this thing. They literally sculpted individual butt cheeks on this bear. Come on, man. This is what you did for a whole year? This is how you spent the year between Ratatouille and this? Sculpting a bear's ass? Is that really the best use of your time? This bear has actual cheeks, dude. I don't know what to do. Okay, Google. What is YouTube's policy about animated bear cheeks? Google, show me this bear's butt. All right, you know what? I was okay with the bears in this movie being naked up until they put that much detail into the physique. Sexy bears, I can deal with that. Even naked ones, that's fine. But in a restaurant where they're serving food, you mean to tell me this bear has an actual butt crack? Just skating around the restaurant with her butt crack? Out? They crossed the line. There's a line right between her two butt cheeks and they crossed it. One more sucker who thinks he's got what it takes to be Freak Teddy. Okay, so this part is kind of confusing, but it, they basically totally spoil a later kind of twist in the movie. So the news that there's a new challenger fighting Freak Teddy makes the paper and there's a picture of Polaris in the newspaper and he's in his costume. And like I mentioned in the last scene, Pankata gets too busy dancing to remember to take Polaris' stuff out of the wash. And when the fight actually comes and Polaris steps in the ring, like the second he takes off his robe, the suit shrinks. And once it shrinks, he kind of looks like a panda because now he's like black and white stripes. So everybody thinks that he's Pankata. That's like the big funny twist in the movie, which we'll talk about later when we get to that part but that hasn't happened yet. As of right now, Pankata hasn't even taken the suit out of the wash yet. He hasn't even remembered it yet, let alone given it to Polaris, let alone it shrinking when he gets into the ring. But I guess that the animators just like forgot what order this movie happens in. Somehow I know the plot of this movie better than the people who made it. Cause in the picture of Polaris in the newspaper, which happens before the fight, Polaris looks like he's one, already fighting and two, 
The costume is shrunk. This movie is so weird. There are so many quality issues. Now the nice lady likes you because she thinks oh. you're a big champion boxer. There's also like a ton of really weird audio mistakes in this movie. Lucky he's wearing a mask. That way no one will know who he is when he inevitably bites the stuff. Like how does that even happen? Uh, what buttons do you press in the editing program on accident to make that happen? When he inevitably bites the stuff. You know, when he bites the stuff. Whoops. It's just like, how did this movie get approved? By anyone? All right, dude, this is your big moment. The director's finally watching the finished movie. Months of hard work animating have brought you here. I just hope he likes it. So far, so good. One more sucker who thinks he's got what it takes to be free Teddy. Oh shit, Polaris is wearing the shrunken costume. He's not supposed to be wearing that yet. The director's gonna have my head for this one. Wait, it looks like he didn't notice. Wow, that was, that was really lucky. I just hope that doesn't happen again. That way no one will know who he is when he inevitably bites the stud. And the audio mistake? Oh no, dude, that's it. I'm definitely done for now. Wait, he's just sitting there. And that's the end of the movie. Holy shit, I can't believe I got away with it. Uh, well, sir, what did you think? It was great. I loved it. Oh, sick. That's awesome. So it's ready to release then? Yep. <laughs> nice work. Wow. Th thank you, sir. <laughs> You know, I've been waiting a really long time to hear you say that, actually, so... Are you snoring? Wait, what? Wait, was he asleep the whole time? But he walked in here. Alright, dude, let's watch this movie. How long has he been asleep for? This resume looks great, buddy. You're hired. Wow, thank you so much for this opportunity, sir. I'm gonna make you proud, I promise. This doesn't make any sense. He's been to my house. This pasta is delicious. He was at my wedding. This cake is delicious. And it all meant nothing. That movie was delicious. Well, I gotta get going. I've got another meeting starting in five minutes. Great job again. Uh, thanks, sir. What? Where am I? Why do I feel so well rested? Oh, I had an awful nightmare. I was a director. You are a director. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, that's probably how it happened. A real man would have the courage to show his face, even if he was a big loser. I have a feeling he's not as big a loser as you think. You act like you know the guy. Well, no. I just think he deserves a fair shake, right? Oh, well, no. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a shy little bear. <laughs> what do I know? Ah! Please! Please stop! Okay, now it's time for the fight where the costume actually shrinks. So Pankata has gotten the clothes out of the washer now. He's given it to Polaris. Polaris steps in the ring and it shrinks right away. Oh! I don't believe it! Could it be? It looks like Pancada! Dude, they're like three feet away from the boxing ring. Like, it's like right there. How can they not... The movie, the movie makes no sense. I mean, I think we can all agree, right? They work at the same bar as Pancada. They all work together. They work with Polaris also. How would they not be able to tell that it's him from three feet away? They've probably known each other for years. These bears, man, they're kind of dumb. Low key. <laughs> Can this bear go to the hospital or something? This drippy nose bear? Go to the doctor, dude. Everything about you is wrong, man. Why is he standing like that? I hate this bear. While the fight is going on, Pankata is actually having a pretty big night of his own. He's not at the boxing event because he's got a big dance audition tonight. The movie never really explains what this dance audition is for from context clues. It just kind of seems like he's trying to get onto some like dance squad or something. So while everybody else is watching the big fight, he's out there killing it on the dance floor, dude. He's rolling around like he's possessed. He's contorting his body. The way his body bends, it kind of looks like he's made out of an inflatable pool toy. And he ends the whole routine by diving over the judges and going into yet another abyss. I don't know why so many doors in this movie lead to just black voids of nothingness, but I hope he's okay. Also pretty chilling that the judges don't react at all. <laughs> when Pankata dives over them. I mean, he's either doing like the sickest end of a dance routine ever, or he's like plummeting to his doom. Either way, they should like react somehow, or at least like watch him go over their head, but instead they're just like, 
And when the night is over, unfortunately, Pancada doesn't make the cut. He doesn't make it onto the dance squad, but Polaris does win the fight. And since everybody thinks that it was Pancada on stage for some reason, he becomes a bit of a local celebrity. Amazing Pancada, totally sensational. Who'd have thought a sweet guy like you had it in ya? Which is obviously confusing to him because he doesn't know anything about the fight that happened last night. He thinks that people are talking about his dance routine. <laughs> Dude, what? Dude, what is that face? Oh! Oh! Ah! Mm, hey kids, it's me, a sexy little bear. You better believe we're showing off these sexy bear hips in this kid's movie made for kids. Also, why is her face so in shadow? She's outside. So of course, now that everybody thinks that Pankata is the superstar, the girl is in love with him. I ought to be mad at you for not telling me how talented you are. Everybody's talking about it. You are just incredible, Pankata. I'm just Pankata, right? The same old me, you know? <laughs> Don't be modest, you silly bear. Oh, harsh. Yeah, well, that's just how I am. Don't be modest, bitch. Ah, you're everything to me. So after Pankata soaks in all the fame, he sort of feels guilty about deceiving everyone. Plus, Polaris realizes that he can't keep this ruse up forever and pretend to be Pankata on stage. So they decide that Pankata is going to have to fight in the next fight himself, which results in quite possibly the world's worst montage sequence. This is gonna be a really long day. <laughs> Some of the shots in this tr montage are just like horrific, dude. The faces he's making, the way his body like melts and oozes when he bends. They also, of course, keep reusing some of the same shots over and over. They love to do that. And on top of it all, there's just so much moaning. There's like way too much moaning. <laughs> Dude, what is going on in this scene? What? I, I just saw this. I never noticed this before. What is he doing? You know how you train for a fight? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, now it's fight time. It's time for the big fight. Pankata's training is over. Now it's time to put it to the test. As the fight's about to begin, Snotty Bear is telling the girl bear how good for business Pankata has been. He says that tickets are just like flying off the shelves. Honey, I knew the turnout would be good for this fight, but you should see how many bets I took. And then right after that, we get a nice sweeping shot of the arena where we see that the animators, again, forgot what was going on in the movie and just didn't add anybody in the bar, which is awesome. And now it's time to fight. <laughs> Oh. What if he just died right now? He's getting beat up for like a minute straight. What if the movie just ends with Pankata dying? And they're like, well, we tried our best. I guess we're never getting rid of this guy. Folks, looks like Pankata's been knocked out cold by Freak Teddy. So yeah, he loses. This movie's called Little Panda Fighter, and it's about a big fat panda who doesn't want to be a fighter and also never becomes a fighter. So you probably think that the bar's just gonna go back to shit after this because they're basically in the same spot that they left off at. But apparently, while everyone was betting on Pankata to win, Polaris actually bet against him because he knew that he wouldn't be able to beat him. I knew there was no way a tubby little panda could beat a monster like that. And he wins a shit ton of money. You're... Rich! Which he uses to retire to the North Pole or something. And he gives the bar to Pankata. So the movie ends with Pankata running the bar. And then he turns it from a fighting bar into a dance show place. Where you can come to just watch him dance. Yeah, uh, you're yanking my fur again, ain't ya? <laughs> wow, what a... That's awesome. Great last shot of the movie. That's sick. So yeah, that's the end of the movie. Pankata gets his own dancing venue where he can dance as much as he wants. And all he had to do was help his boss lie so he could win a shit ton of money. And that's the end of the movie. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, thanks for the support on the merch. A lot of it sold out like way faster than any merch that I've ever made. So thank you guys. Make sure you pick some up if you didn't get it last time at dannygonzalez.store. Thank you for all the support. Oh, also I keep forgetting to mention this on my channel, but I've been streaming on Twitch. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you probably did not know that, but I've been streaming every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to come watch me, I'm usually playing Minecraft. I am very bad at Minecraft, so the chat is usually teaching me how how to play Minecraft. Oh fuck, okay, uh, shit. Oh no, oh no, fuck. 
Okay, yeah, I don't think that's gonna uh, work. If you wanna come hang out and watch, uh, it's been really fun so far. So thank you for everyone who's been watching those and for your support on that also. You guys are seriously kinda lit. If you like this video and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is what I call my army here on YouTube and we are actually the fastest growing army on YouTube. Don't look that up, you can just take my word for it. I'm a trustworthy guy. Would I ever lie to you? Come on, man. All right, well, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. Again. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. So why are you still watching this?